everyone welcome back to my channel i know what you're thinking what are all these hokey pokey sciencey stuff well today i finally found out how to make a hand sanitizer i know how you're thinking how oh, are you how did you find out how to make a hand sanitizer well we'll go go and come to that later but first why am i doing this well i just thought why don't make a youtube video out of this sanitizer so that it can go viral maybe okay so i did this because the stores most of the stores i saw don't have that many sanitizers in their stock and even if they do have some the brands don't follow the who protocols what is who who is the world health organization which makes rules and regulations about our medical health and they recently uploaded a new rule for making how to make a hand sanitizer well i'm going to apply the rule right now here first you need some isopropyl alcohol or methyl alcohol aka a surgical spirit or you can also use ethanol alcohol if you're using ethanol it should be above 60% purity but if you're using these two the surgical spirit and the isopropyl it should be at least above 70% otherwise it won't work next is some hydrogen peroxide which will kill the bacteria spores in the hand sanitizer container which i'm going to put in or the ingredients if they have any bacteria in them next is the surgical spirit as you okay our surgical spirit is the glycerin glycerin will help moisturize your hands increase the spillability of the hand sanitizer and it will also bond the alcohol with itself so that the alcohol doesn't evaporate because alcohol evaporates very very fast so it just bond itself with the glycerin and the glycerin won't let go of it all right so next is some essential oils let's take them over all right the next is the essential oils which we need for the fragrance you can use any favorite you want lavender lemongrass lemon i'm using lemon because i love it next is these vitamin E tablets you can see right here the vitamin E tablets help moisturize your hands this is a thin tiny roll but it also helps a lot next is some aloe vera gel aloe vera gel helps to like uh, moisturize your hands i know that it states that you should use distilled water but i'm using aloe vera gel cuz i just told moisturize your hands this is really good and it also 90% made of water so it doesn't really matter that much next is this this is this is a glass bowl for mixing all the ingredients when we put them together oh i forgot about these tiny stuff these are measuring cups if you don't have this big you can use these two small you can get these from cough syrups if you don't have cough syrups well you can use this big i'm sure your mother has a rice cooker you can just ask her mommy if you have a, if you have this measuring container and she just give you and you can use it for making the sanitizer next is the metal bowl the metal bowl helps us to put the hydrogen peroxide in it so that it can put it in this container and shake it very well so that the bacterial spores go away so no bacteria in a sanitizer and we are clean and healthy next is some gloves so sure, we are wearing these gloves so that we don't get burned to death with this hydrogen peroxide okay that's begin first take the hydrogen peroxide and put it in the bowl with the cotton and clean it so that the bowl becomes sterilized and even clean the spoon which you're mixing with so it becomes sterilized and there's no bacteria in it good job next put the hydrogen peroxide in this container and shake shake shaky and throw the hydrogen peroxide away in the metal bowl then take the isopropyl alcohol and open it well first you have to open it and pour 80 ml with the measuring cup 80 ml in the bowl so that is good job 140 ml and a uh, 80 ml boop patty tapata little more just a little more to freedom just a little and done then take the 10 ml yep 
you can see the 10 ml but we'll put in the middle because we need 5 ml that's all and take the hydrogen peroxide and put it in it's a lot of time and done put it inside next we'll take the glycerin which will moisturize your hands and it is a very very big roll so this is a 5 ml drop 5 ml well not drop 5 ml liquid and boop pity boop pity boop pity boop take the spoon and take out all the glycerin from there because it's little sticky take it all out so nothing is wasted and we we'll go on to the next ingredient which is the aloe vera gel so you have to take 10 ml of aloe vera gel to put it in the contain in the bowl and mix it very very well so aloe vera gel is taken and ready for departure departed again take the spoon take out all the aloe vera gel from the measuring cups and then take the vitamin e tablet Open it, cut it to the top half. Uh, 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 cut uh, done. Then put it or oh, put it all over the bowl. Take it out very nicely. And done. And then just mix, mix, mix until it becomes a sanitizer. <laughs> Then take the fragments. I'm gonna use some lemongrass. I told you I'm gonna use lemon, but unfortunately, it sucks. So, it's four drops of lemongrass fragments. You can use anything you want and mix it again. Mix. And finally, I put it in the container. So, it's finally done. And now I'm gonna use my made hand sanitizer. I'm just so proud of it. I'm so happy right now. So finally, whew, after a lot of hard work, I'm finally done with making my hand sanitizer. And now I'm gonna use it because I love it. A little bit done, it's very watery. Boop, done. I'll rub vigorously everywhere. Hoopa, 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 done. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, anyways, if you love it, make it, use it, never, never, ever not use it. Now, enjoy the next clip of the video where I show you how to wash your hands vigorously and apply soap and sanitizer everywhere. And also, this sanitizer that I just made, you also make it and it will help you defeat all the COVID-19 and all the coronavirus that are there and hopefully, we never get it, right? Enjoy the next clip and well, bye! And stay safe! First, open the tap and rinse your arm from your palm to your elbow and wash your elbow clockwise and anti-clockwise in a circular manner. Use enough soap and water to cover your hands and then rub your palms together. Then rub your thumbs and do the vice versa on the other hand. But as you can see, there's no soap on the back of my hand. So I'm going to interlace my fingers palm to palm and do the same on the back of my hands. And you rub the back of your hand so that the soap, you know the soap is there everywhere. And then you're going to take the back of your fingers to opposing palms to with the fingers interlocked and then rub the wrists one last time so that you know soap is everywhere and rub vigorously and wash your hands hmm. bye bye guys and ciao see you in the flip side stay home stay safe have fun